Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are here because you are fed up with your current OS and thinking about dipping your toes into Linux, you are in the right place. Today, I am sharing my real life experience as a complete newbie switching to either Ubuntu 25.10 or Linux Mint 32.2. I'll walk you through the highs, the lows and everything in between. No fluff. Just honest insights to help you decide if this is your next move. So let's dive in. Tired of Windows slowing you down with endless updates and ads? Or Mac OS feeling like a walled garden? You're not alone. I just made the switch to Ubuntu 25.10 and Linux Mint 22.2. And let me tell you, it was a journey full of surprises. If you're curious about what it's really like, to jump to a free, open source operating system. Stick around. I'll spill all the details on the challenges I faced and the unexpected wins that made it worthwhile. The why behind this switch. Like many of you, I hit a breaking point with my old setup. Windows was bloated with unnecessary features, constant privacy knacks, and performance tips that made everyday task a chore. macOS offered smoothness but locked me into an ecosystem where customization felt limited and pricey. I craved something lighter, more secure and truly mine. So enter Linux. The open source world appealed to me because of its massive community support where users help each other fix issues for free and the promise of better privacy without big tech tracking every click. I chose Ubuntu 25.10 and Linux Mint 22.2, specifically because they are beginner friendly. Ubuntu is the powerhouse distro with tons of resources online, while Mint builds on Ubuntu, but tweaks it for an even easier transition, especially if you are coming from Windows. But let's be real, there's a learning curve. I went in knowing I had had to Google a few things, but the freedom to tweak everything without restrictions sparked my curiosity. If you are frustrated with your current operating system, this could be your fresh start. Just set realistic expectations that it won't be identical, but it might be better. First steps, installation and initial impressions. Getting started was simpler than I expected. But choosing between the two was key. Ubuntu 25.10, codenamed Questing Quoka, is the latest non LTS release from October 2025, packing fresh features like GNOME 49 for a modern desktop feel, with handy lock screen controls for media and power, plus improved HDR support. It's great if you want cutting edge stuff, but it only gets 9 months of updates until July 2026. Linux Mint 22.2 Zera, released in September 2025, is based on Ubuntu's stable LTS foundation, but uses the Cinnamon desktop, which looks and feels a lot like Windows. Think a familiar start menu and taskbar. Mint avoids some of Ubuntu's quirks, like default snap packages, making it snappier for newcomers. For installation, I grabbed the ISO file from their official sites, which is ubuntu.com for Ubuntu and linuxmint.com for Linux Mint. I used a tool like Rufus to create a bootable USB, then booted into the live environment to test things without committing. Dual booting with Windows. It's doable. During setup, both distros let you shrink your existing partition and install alongside. Just back up your data first. Ubuntu's installer is straightforward with options for full disk encryption using TPM for extra security. Mints is similar but feels more polished for beginners with a welcome screen guiding you through initial setup. My initial impressions? Ubuntu's GNOME interface was a shock. Minimalist and gesture heavy like swapping for workspace. But once I added a few extensions, 
it felt into you linux mint won me over instantly with its familiar layout no where is the start button panic both booted fast on my mid range laptop and the wallpapers which is ubuntu's coca theme is cute made it feel fresh pleasant surprise no bloatware everything was clean and responsive right away now daily driver adapting to a new operating system once installed making it my daily driver meant finding alternative to my go to apps both use the same software sources so acquiring programs is easy via the built in managers ubuntu software app or mint's software manager for office work libreoffice replaced microsoft office seamlessly it handles word docs and even exports to pdf about photo editing gimp is a free photoshop alternative and i grabbed dark table for raw files browsers like firefox come pre installed and adding chrome was just a download away the terminal was my biggest misadventure as a newbie commands like ls to list files or sudo apt update to refresh packages felt alien at first but they are powerful installing software is often as simple as trying sudo apt install the app name i messed up a few times like forgetting sudo and getting permission errors but online guides fix it quick linux mint makes this less intimidating with graphical tools for most tasks so i used the terminal sparingly at first customization was a triumph in ubuntu gnome extensions let me add a dock and tweak themes for a darker look linux mint cinnamon shines here easy to change icons add applets to the panel and set up hot corners i made my desktop mine with a custom wallpaper and keyboard shortcuts boosting my productivity without the clutter of my old operating system now overcoming hurdles and unexpected wins not everything was smooth hardware compatibility tripped me up my wifi adapter needed a quick driver install via terminal on ubuntu but linux mint handled it automatically nvidia users beware in 2025 Wayland the default display server is better but some older cards might need tweaks for smooth performance troubleshooting involved forums like ask ubuntu or reddit where community answers were gold about gaming on linux it's evolved massively by late 2025 steam's proton lets you run window games natively i played titles like cyberpunk 2077 with minimal tweaks thanks to improved compatibility tools like lutris handle non steam games and the steam dex influence has pushed developers to support linux better no more dual booting just for games the unexpected win a huge productivity boost without distractions like ads or forced restarts my workflow improved faster boot times light resource use and multitasking without slowdowns plus the sense of control over my system felt empowering now final thoughts was it worth it after a few weeks yes it was absolute worth it for long term sustainability ubuntu 25.10 needs upgrading every 9 months but it's simple with built in tools linux mint 22.2 being lts based gets updates until 2029 making it lower maintenance both handle security patches automatically and system snapshots in mint let you roll back if something breaks so who should switch if you are a tech curious value privacy and want speed without cost go for it especially on older hardware where linux breathes new life if you rely on niche proprietary software like certain adobe apps stick with what you have or dual boot newbies start with mint for its windows like feel or users might prefer ubuntu's freshness my linux journey is just beginning i am exploring more tweaks and maybe trying other distros next 
If you have switched or are thinking about it, drop your experiences in the comments. Hit like if this helped. Subscribe for more tech adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.